Well, as parents, we want our kids to eat more of the good stuff, less of the unhealthy. But with the demands of the school year, convenience matters. We're getting some smarter go-tos here this morning. Yeah, Whitney Wright is a dietitian at Methodist Women's Hospital, a partnership with the American Heart Association geared at nutrition. That's good right. to see you this morning. Welcome. Hi, thank you. Uh, so what are we talking? What are some of the best foods for kids? Um, well, the best foods are fresh. Um, and I generally say to avoid processed or a lot of mm -hmm. prepackaged items. Yeah. So avoiding you know, really high sodium and just kind of going with fresh, bologna? clean food. No bologna? Yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> At least most of the time. But this isn't a war on bologna. This is just no. about supporting nutrition for kids. Right. There's nothing that's good or bad. Mm -hmm. So there are not, no judgments, but we certainly have a lot of fresh options available mm -hmm. um, that are quick, too, because yeah. you don't want to... Well, that's exactly why people reach for the processed stuff. Yeah. Because it's sometimes it's just opening a bag or a box mm -hmm. and because it's just rush, rush, rush once the year right. starts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of really cool new products on the market that are you know packaged and a little bit more convenient mm -hmm. but that are really healthy and I have a couple of well, them. Let's talk about them. What are some of these best, the best foods for these kids? Um, well we'll do the snacks first. So you know after school a lot of times we do need something we can just open the bag and, and grab. Mm -hmm. So these are sweet potato and corn tortilla chips uh -huh. but they're also have made with quinoa which oh. is um, a high protein grain. I love that. And mm -hmm. chia seeds. Um, okay so far this sounds like a very adult oriented snack. Are you sure <laughs> no, kids will no, eat no. this? It really it really, it really they, tastes like a tortilla chip. Can I try uh, they one? They would like yeah. it. They would like that. Yourself. My kids, okay, when they this. come home from school, they're, uh, the first place they go is the pantry. They head yeah. right to the pantry because they're mm -hmm. hungry when they what get What did home. you throw in this baggie? That is fruit shreds. Ooh. So fruit snacks are my kids' it, number one favorite yeah. snack. And so I just grab brands that I feel have less sugar. Uh, and they're and, fun to eat. Yes. And also okay. have vegetable purees added to them. Yeah. Those have um, kale, carrot, and... What? Oh, she wrote it down. Oh, you wrote it down. Gotta look at our notes. Pumpkin, kale, oh. and carrot puree, oh, along with good. blueberries, cherries, and apple. I just think they look like it, sort of the big league chew bubble gum back yeah. in the day. If you remember mm -hmm. that, where it was just fun to eat, and mm -hmm. that's part of it with kids. Yeah, so they and they don't it. know that they're having kale. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. And then the fruit snacks. Cause a lot of kids like the fruit snacks, but mm -hmm. some of those are mm -hmm. so high in sugar. They really are, and those have no added sugar. It's just a sugar really kind good, of fruit. Yeah. Well, let's keep going here. What else? So is this, a really hot food trend is zoodles, which is. Basically taking zucchini or carrots or other vegetables mm -hmm. and making noodles out of them with a spiraler. Mm -hmm. So I went ahead and made a zoodle salad and it's zucchini. Those are raw. You can steam it if your Whoa. kids want. That's a long good zoodle. job on that if one. Your kids That's a want great spiral. Softer texture. How long is this thing? It's like Lady in the Tramp Oh my material. gosh! It was a big Look zucchini. how long this thing yeah. is. You did a good job on this. Uh, you, there's a, there are a lot of recipes. So I just added. Um, mozzarella oh, cheese yeah. and then some cherry tomatoes mm -hmm. and kind of did a capri salad and there's some shredded basil. What's in the jar? And then this is my favorite new find. Mm -hmm. um, it's a watermelon slushy. So another thing my kids love are slushies and we do get regular slushies from the machinist treats sometimes. Uh -huh. But um, this is watermelon basically pureed and you add a little bit of lime juice and like a it? tiny add of sugar. Um, so it is a treat. But you freeze it, and then about every hour while it's freezing, you chop it up uh -huh. to give it the, the slushy texture. The slushy texture. Mm -hmm. um, and it's That's amazing. That's a great idea, Whitney. That's a good idea. What's on the plate? Um, those are fruit kebabs. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a little bit more of a fun way, and also kind of a funner way to have them pre-portioned. Yeah, Perfect. you got your standard so, fruit. Strawberries, yeah. pineapple, whatever. Okay. So these are great, mm -hmm. but I don't know, some of these, like in a couple of cases, might be tough to throw in a lunch right. box and get mm -hmm. to school. Yep. So what's on the end here? So I packed two different lunches. This Star Wars bag okay. is kind of more of a bento style lunch uh -huh. box. So I have, um, oh actually that's the other one, I'm what? sorry. Oh, you, want <laughs> the, you want me to do this one no, first? No, no, you're fine. Oh. Um, so <laughs> I have a turkey sandwich. I didn't do anything. Why are you shutting it on me? Sorry. What's shutting it on me? Here's Whitney the threw me for a loop. Oh, what'd you do? You sandwich. made a little rabbit out of that or something. What'd you what, do? What is that? What is it's not a, a rabbit. It's a train. It's a, train. <laughs> <laughs> it's a rabbit or a train. One of the two. Oh my. You can use cookie cutters. Oh, so I just funny. put out a cute shape. Uh huh. Um, and there's some spinach in there. Um, or a pony. Cheese and turkey. It could be a pony. Uh -huh. It could be a lot of things. Uh huh. Actually. Okay. Use your imagination. That's a good idea. Kids yep. like that. What That's else? What's um, those are rice and corn puffed cheese. You got a lot of stuff in here, Whitney. Which are also low in sodium. Now wait a minute. I want to ask you about something. Will kids eat these? Little they cherry do. tomatoes? Yeah, they do. They're mm -hmm. really sweet. The mm -hmm. little small, those are grape tomatoes, mm -hmm. and they're sweeter than the cherry ones. Um, and then I made some tzatziki sauce 
that's yeah. in that little container oh. with Greek yogurt and just some cucumber. Yum. Oh, you dip them? This so is you dip them. Dip. Okay, Whitney, mm -hmm. I got I to gotta tell you, you get major points for this kind of lunch, but moms and dads who are watching now, they say, I'm mm -hmm. supposed to make the sauce, get the fresh fruit in there, uh -huh. cut out a fun shape on the sand. Yeah. Like, she's killing me so far. I'm an yeah. hour into this lunch. Oh, right. Mary, so how do we, calm how can, down. Like, it's not an hour. Life. Okay, 45 minutes. It doesn't minutes. take an hour to no, make No, but that. how do parents who say, uh -huh. I don't, I want to do this, but the time, how do I get the time right. in? It's a lot um, easier than you think. <clears throat> you can make a batch of tzatziki sauce for the whole family mm -hmm. to have throughout the week as dips. So you just spoon that into some container, throw in the fruit, mm -hmm. make a sandwich like normal, press down the cookie cutter, pop that in a box, and then throw in the cheese puffs. You can prepackage for the week and you're done. And, and you've got another lunch over here, but let's talk about what we should look for on labels real mm -hmm. quick. We've got about a minute left. Yep. So when we're going to the store and we're shopping, you mentioned mm -hmm. sodium earlier. Is that the most important number on the label when we're talking about kids and nutrition or it's what? It's one of the important um, numbers on the label. Mm -hmm. A high sodium intake through childhood can lead to a higher risk of developing high blood pressure later in life. Mm. So it's kind of important to not necessarily restrict or, you know, be super worried about our kids' sodium intake, mm -hmm. but to make sure we don't go like overboard. Right. So. Yeah. Sodium's number one to look for. What, what's second? What do you think? Um, you should probably look for saturated fats. Yeah. Fat isn't bad, but we want to avoid saturated fats and trans fats. Those are our not heart healthy fats. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's why you're mm -hmm. with us in the American Heart Association because it's kids mm -hmm. and back to school, and you think, what does this have to do with heart health? It's not just about what they're doing today, but it's mm -hmm. about how healthy are they. 40 years from now. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Setting exactly. them up. Good yeah, habits matter. Great ideas. And for more information, heart.org slash Omaha. What are you yep. laughing at? I'm Mary? just laughing. You finally, he found oh, the cookie there cutter. There's the a train. <laughs> just the train. The train guys. Or the rabbit. Yeah. Online. Heart.org slash Omaha if you'd like more information. Thank you, Whitney. Thank Thanks, you very good much. Good to meet Appreciate you. It.